<clears throat> we finna pop off in this video, brother. And I just tasted something sour, but it's all good. So I'm gonna get into this video topic on friends that sell out. They sold, they sold you out because basically you had plans, you had dreams, you had goals, you had visions, you had a lot. And you started to work towards a lot of things and it's like certain people don't believe in you so it's like they completely abandon you, ignore you, make you feel stupid, make you feel worthless, make you feel like you're doing the wrong things, make you feel all these things. And it's exactly what's going to happen when you're actually doing the right things with your life. Believe it or not. You might think I'm going to do all the right things. People's going to love me more. People's going to respect me more. Um, this and that, that and this. I'm telling you right now, it is not the truth. It is so far from the truth. The complete opposite happens. It's like you do all the right things. And everything you think that should happen does not happen and the opposite happens. So you think other things are going to get better because you're getting better. But everything gets worse in the beginning. That's why you have to keep getting better and better and better and better and better. And you cannot stop that pattern. You cannot stop that way of life. You have to have that growth mindset all the way through and then you do get better. But in the beginning stages is where it gets really tough. It's real ugly. And I mean real ugly. Like people are going to be turning on you left, right, and center. People's going to be talking about you. People's going to be gossiping about you. People is going to be literally taking a lot out of you. They will try to destroy you. And it's not because you are worthless. It's the opposite. It's because they can see that this person, you know what? They're definitely capable. They're at least capable of making some things happen and we don't want it to happen. We do not want to see them do good because we already know we're not going to do as good as they are. So they're going to do all the things that they're going to do and it's going to have an effect on you but you can't let it get you down. You have to keep pushing forward. You have to let that stuff motivate you and this is what I do. It's what I've been doing for years, and I mean over half a decade now. This is what I've been doing. All the negativity, it's just like, I'm, I'm just like more and more and more and more and more, and I'm going to use it all, all that energy into the positive. I'm going to make positive things happen because of all this negativity and all the wrongdoings that these people are doing and they know they're doing the wrong thing. They know you're actually a good person but they're doing it anyway because they want to see you fail. They don't want to see you do better than them. They don't. They're going to cross you the wrong way. They will abandon you. They will make you feel terrible. They will convince you that you're doing the wrong thing. When they know damn well you're doing the right things, you're taking risks, you're doing things they're not doing. They will leave you out to dry. They will leave you high and dry. And in those times and in those moments, it's up to you to continue on your path and purpose, no matter if you got it figured out yet or if you don't, you have to keep going. Because they're going to treat you real bad. And the funny thing is, it's when you actually start doing really good and you start to prove people wrong. That's when a lot of these individuals want to come back into your life. Because it's like, wait, hold up. This person's looking real good. They're doing their thing. They're really living it up. Now they want to be a part of it. Because they only see you getting better. They only see you doing better things. They only see you doing everything that they failed to do. And they can see that you're 10 times happier without them. And that's going to eat them up. It's like karma. How they made you feel in those beginning stages is coming back onto them because now you are ignoring them. 
you don't need them. You're looking at them as they ain't shit, and it's because they are not. And they're looking at you as, oh, look at this person now. I need to get back into their life. I need to benefit off of this person. I want to be around that positive energy. I want to be around this guy. I want to be around this girl. I want to be around that winner. That's how they think. And you never want to take somebody like this back in your life. You do not. Big mistake if you make that. They're not real. They're not your friend. They don't give a damn about you. They only care about how you make them feel. And you know why they abandon you? Because at that time, you made them feel like shit because you were going after bigger and better things. But at that time, they just seen you just like them. So they get offended almost. It's like, oh, who does this person think they are for wanting to do this or try this or think they're going to pull this off? But when you actually do, they see you did it. They damn well see you did it. And that's when they want to be around you whenever you, you start to have a lot of things. You start to do your thing, this, that, that, this. They feel they want to be around that now. They feel, okay, okay. This person did do this or this, and they, they, they are on that platform. They are doing their thing. So they feel they want to be around you now, all of a sudden. And then when you don't let them, that's when karma really hits, because now they're going to feel bad. They're going to feel bad because they have to see you the rest of their life. And that's if they choose to. Because some people ain't going to want to look at you much, but they're always going to pay attention. Everybody that used to know you is going to pay attention to you somewhat. They cannot help it. They cannot help it because they know the value you have deep down inside as a person. They cannot help it. They're always going to be checking up on you. Some more than others. Some a little less, but they're always going to be there. Trust and believe. This is really how it is. People be fucked up out there, man. People just can't be real. They have to act all weird. So that's why you don't deal with those people at all. You keep moving forward. <clears throat> and you keep doing your thing. And they're only going to start to hate you more and more. You're going to make them feel even even worse because you don't even acknowledge them. You don't care about them because you don't care about them because they don't care about you. And they showed you this first. So why should you care about somebody that doesn't care about you? You can't invest into somebody else and be good to somebody else when they treated you like complete trash and made you feel the lowest of the lows. And they were the ones that first laughing. Oh, look at this joker. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. They really tried to bring you down to the lowest of the lowest because you try to do bigger and better things than them. And now, the, now that the fact that you're on top, what's going to help them come up, what's going to help them make feel better is if you acknowledge them, you let them be a part of your life and your journey now. That's what's going to make them feel better. But what's going to make them feel like absolute dog shit, like they made you feel is not even acknowledging them like, yeah, who the F are you now, is how I feel. You ain't my boy, you ain't my friend. You don't care about me. They only care about how you make them feel in the moment. That is it. They don't care about your well-being. And this is a little harsh to say, but it's like, <clears throat> if you were to die, they would care so little deep down inside because they just don't value you that way. They're honestly just pesticides as people. You don't want them in your life. And what you do with your life and your business and your job and your schooling and all these things that are possible for you in order to make a living should have nothing to do with friendship or relationships or anything because you keep those separate. In this world, there is different worlds. You have your relationships separate 
your friendships, your family, your relationships with, with, with a spouse, with, with whoever, your dogs, your cats, your goldfish, it doesn't matter. There's that life, and then there's your work, then there's your business, then there's your schooling, then there's all these things that lead up into you making a living. You keep those things separate. If someone is willing to turn, to turn on you, if someone's willing to like be weird and act weird because about what you want to do with your life and make you feel bad, make you make you feel as if you're doing the wrong thing, as if they have any say or act any different or treat you any different, they shouldn't be anywhere near you. Not even close. There's a the door. Don't let it hit you on the way out. I'll see you. Not later. I'll see you never. Have fun. Good riddance. You did what you did. You said what you said. And for you to take that back, for you to ever give a person like that a chance again, they're going to have to come completely clean and literally explain things and make a very good story and it better be valid you know what I mean because there's no excuse to be doing some shit like that it's hard to forgive a person like that because it's not only something that they did wrong because people can do things that are wrong that's not 100% right and it's like you can get over it there's people that have crossed me the wrong way, but I was able to get over it pretty quick because it's like it's not that big of a deal. But when it's something like that, when it has something to do with trust, you just can't look at a person the same again. And you don't really want somebody that you really can't trust in your life or anywhere close to you anyways. There's people that I'll even hang out with sometimes today. I'm not going to lie. I just don't really trust them that much. I just don't. I know what people are capable of. I've seen it all. I know how they act. I know how they are. People like that, they, they can be fun sometimes to hang out with, to do certain things with, but you don't have to trust them. You know what I mean? You don't have to trust them with certain things. You don't have to trust them with some of your secrets, if you have secrets, or if it's this or if it's that. Stuff like this. You might not want to leave your wallet in the car if they're with you and you go in to get something and, and you don't have your wallet. It, it's things like this, you know what I mean? Like, And I don't know if I'd go to that extent because that's pretty crazy. Like if you can't leave your wallet around somebody, that's pretty bad. You shouldn't be with them anyways. That, that's a little much, but it's just certain things, man. Like <clears throat> you can really feel and you can really tell if you can trust somebody or not, I feel. I really do feel. And I've had people that came to me and, and talked to me and explained to me how they don't trust barely anybody. But yet, they opened up so fast to me, like in a flick. And they explained to me how much they trusted me, like to, like other than other people. Because I'm telling you, man, there's just some people that you talk to that you know you can trust. And it's like, it, it's one of those situations. And I felt the same towards other people before as well. Like, just the way we're having a conversation, just the way they are, just their vibe. I could tell, I could tell this person things. And then there's some people you don't even want to come close to telling them anything because it's like, you can tell they're kind of a scumbag type of person. They're just, they lack a lot. They're just not all there. And... They might not be the worst person in the world. You might be able to do something here and there with the person that's decently fun, but it's like you can only have so much, you can only give so much to, to a person like that, and your trust is just not one of them. You just have to know how to operate around certain people, period. Is what I feel you have to do. You have to be very careful because people are dangerous. And I've learned this very young. People are legitimately dangerous. You can't be messing with the wrong people in, in, in the wrong ways. As long as you know how to deal with people, you're going to be just fine. It's going to make your life a lot better. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this topic. And uh, I'm going to get out of here now and 
get a meal and or I'll get some road work done. But anyways, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with some more videos. Until next time, peace out. <coughs>